This is a land of lush vegetation, friendly people, idyllic bays. And while Panape appears to be paradise, like any other place, it also has its problems. Depending on the study, officials estimate unemployment here anywhere from 22 to 70 percent. Jobs are scarce, and subsistence living is a way of life for many. We get people that call in almost every day looking for jobs. Young people, able people. Singero Singeo works for the College of Micronesia, the island nation's land-grant institution. The Federated States of Micronesia has an agreement with the United States called a Compact of Free Association. And while the country presently gets annual U.S. aid, the most recent arrangement stipulates that the nation has 18 years in which to become economically independent. In response to this, Singero and others at the college are exploring new ways to create jobs on the island. If we are able to establish some sort of pearl uh, farms in some of the islands based on the technology that has been adapted to simple ways of handling it, then it will be easier for the farms to be established in these uh, many outer islands and for young people to have jobs. The black pearl is highly coveted and fetches top prices in international markets. Pearls also have the advantage of not being perishable and transportation costs from remote islands are minimal due to their diminutive size and weight. With Panape's rich nutrient waters, the stage was set to develop an aquaculture industry. Or was it? We knew there are some pearl oysters in the islands, but we couldn't produce enough to have farm. And so that's why we needed a technology to, to do this. Enter Masahiro Ito, a marine biologist by trade. Masahiro is an accomplished scientist in pearl aquaculture. But it's his ability to choose appropriate technologies for the developing nations in Micronesia that has proved most valuable. We don't need uh, you know, high technology you know, equipment and we just need long lines, uh, ropes, ropes and oyster. And they have a natural environment to grow oyster and pearls. With limited resources, Masahiro has established a nursery, trained a local staff and conducted research with Panape oysters to see which will produce the optimum color of gem. To encourage pearl production, mature oysters are removed from the nets so that an implant can be inserted. In response to the implant, the oysters begin to produce pearls. The team checks the condition of the oysters and nets monthly, removing sea growth that is detrimental to the process. It is a labor-intensive business one that promises great financial returns and precious jobs for the people of Micronesia. Last summer, they were able to extract the 10 months old pearl that showed that pearls of such quality, roundness, and right color could be produced in this area using the Hatsuri technology and all the procedures that he has taught to his boys. Today, the crew heads to nearby Paramount to inspect the oysters there. When he first came here, we agreed that his job is to train Micronesians to show that technology can work. That was part of the intention, was to make something very simple, that when people look at it, they're going to say, ah, oh, we can do this in other places. We focus on those programs that help uh, raise the level of uh, quality of life for people, whether it's in nutrition, youth, employment, projects like the Pearl. For more stories on how land-grant institutions are helping people of the Pacific, log on to this website.